Hello, students. So today we're going to learn about array lists, a powerful and flexible data structure in Java Java. Unlike arrays, array lists can dynamically resize itself, making it a versatile option for managing collections of data. So let's explore the basics of array lists and how to use it. So first, what is an array list? An array list is a part of the Java collections framework, and it provides a resizable array which means it can grow and shrink the size dynamically as elements are added or removed. And it is defined in the java.util package. So, got to import it. You have to import it <laughs> um, in order to use array list. You need to import it from the java.util package. So declaring an array list, you can declare an array list by specifying the type of elements it will store. This type is specified using generic angle brackets. So let's say we wanted to uh, declare an array list of strings. We would do so. Let's do this we did before with arrays. Our names. So this will declare an array list of features. So what if you wanted to create an array list? So create an array list. So after declaring an array list, you would need to create it using the new keyword. So uh, let's do this as we did before uh, uh, for names. And let's do as we did for uh, numbers. So what if you want to add elements? Uh, you can also combine the uh, me, you can also combine the declaration and creation in one step. As we saw before with the race. So Declaration and creation in one step. Okay. So now that we got thoughts, let's talk about adding elements to an array list. So you can add elements to an array list using the add method, as the array list comes with its own class. So we can do a method. So the add method, let's add uh, Alice and Bob into names, and let's add one and two into numbers. Okay, into names. Names dot add, I'm gonna add Alice, and then I'm gonna add Bob. Um, and then I'm gonna do, um, 
So accessing uh, the elements in an array list. So elements in the array list are accessed using their index, starting from zero. <clears throat> Just like we did with arrays. <clears throat> so we want to get the first name. Um, we would have to, we would have to, yeah, if we want to get the first name in the names, we would have to access it using the index zero. But the way we do that is using a method known as get. First name equals name star get zero. And get So this access this is accesses the first element of the names array list. This accesses the first element of the numbers array list. Okay. Let's take a look at those, shall we? The modify elements in an array list. You can modify elements using the set method. So we have something to get and set. So <clears throat> to do so, you have to give it the uh, index that you want to uh, set something at, and then the value that you want to give it. So let's set the first element. Uh, so that, or sorry, second element, which would be in index one of names to Charlie. And let's we'll set the uh, index one or the second element of numbers to 10. So this will change the second element of the names array list, the names array list to Charlie. And this will change the second element of the numbers array list to 10. Bobby two, that becomes Charlie three. So what if we want to remove or remove elements from? Well, elements can be removed using the remove method. So if we want to remove the first element of the names uh, list, or the first remove the first element of the numbers array list, we'd be looking at index zero. Ooh, 
make sure that Alice won. Now Alice will want to be removed. Everything else was up. And we have Charlie and Tim Shelley. So when we're getting the size of an array list. Well, the size of an array list, which is the number of elements it contains, can be obtained using the size method. Okay. So, we're going to get the name size, and, um, and the energy value, of course, um, using the, the size method. And I'm going to do the same thing for numbers. So, let's do that twice. Let's do that. Because these have already been declared, I don't need to take those. You got there. Okay. So we see at the beginning we have two things in names and two things in uh, numbers. In the end, we only have one because we removed it. We removed, we removed the first. So with all of that, let's put it all together in a simple program. So first we're going to declare and create an array list of strings using the array list in angle bracket string. We'll call it call this array list names. So we'll just say equal to a new array list. Then we're going to add elements to the array list. Let's add Alice, Bob, and Charlie, as we saw before with arrays. Um, then we're going to access and print out the first couple elements. So we'll do uh, use the get method to get uh, element zero and to get um, the value of index one as well. So let's modify it a bit. Let's set the uh, let's set, let's change Charlie to Dave. So the uh, element at index two will change to Dave. So let's get that so we can see that the change is okay. Then let's remove an element. Let's remove the element that's at index one. So remove Bob. So the only thing that we left in there would now be uh, uh, Alice and Dave. Okay. And then Let's print the size so that we can see we changed from having three things to two things. Okay. Then for uh, let's, let's declare and create an array list of integers. Um, same thing, array list. So let's name the class. So then in angle brackets, we put the data type we're going to use, which is integer. And then we're going to call this one numbers. Um, and then we're going to add to it one, two, and three. And then let's print out the elements at index uh, zero and one. Okay. Uh, and then Let's modify the uh, element at index two, which is the three. We'll change that to a ten, so it'll become one, 
to a 10. So let's remove the element at index 1, which is the 2. So we just have 1 at 10 in there still. And so the size will also become 2. So let's take a look to see if all of those things are back. What do they do? What do they do? The first one is us, second one is Bob. The modified third name is John Dave. After removing the second element, the second name is Dave. Um, because Bob's gone, Dave moves up. Um, and then the size is now 2. And then the first number was 1, second number was 2. And we modify 3 to become 10. And after removing the second element, the second number becomes 2, which was 110 now. And the size of that is 2. Okay? So, in summary, array list is a powerful data structure in Java that provides dynamic resizing capabilities. You can add, access, modify, and remove elements easily using various methods provided by the array list class. Understanding how to how understanding how to work with ArrayList is significantly will significantly enhance your ability to manage your collections of data in your Java programs. See, 